Still the mind. <clears throat> As you can tell, I have a bad throat today. That's the result of four days of sightseeing, bar hopping, whatever else. I had some visitors from overseas, so I wanted to show them how wonderful and beautiful New York was. And now I'd like to introduce, I'm going to pass on the baton right away to my participants today and our special guest. To my extreme right, we have Denden Girmai. Denden has been off our radar for about six months, is it, Denden? She was a regular on our show for quite some time, and she suddenly decided she had enough of Yoga Express. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Tell us what you did, Dendin. I, um, I love Yoga Express, um, but I love my country just a little bit more. I'm from East Africa, and uh, I got the opportunity to go back home for um, a few months <coughs> and go all over Eritrea and see my grandparents. Oh. Who are still living and see my grandparents who are not living in their resting places and see all the people in between. Um, and then go to all the other countries because then you have the opportunity to travel. You right. That's you true. And do it well. And I did it well. So. But I'm back. I'm back in New York. It's and, wonderful um, to have you back. back. Wonderful to have all your energy, your positive mm -hmm. energy. It's really good to have you back in. I can't tell you how sincere that has meant, especially today. We really need all that energy, all the energy you can spare. I'm here. So good, <laughs> good. I'm going to save our special guest to the last. I'd like to introduce Lana Parr. Lana has been with us in a few episodes before, and she found it benefited her so much, she decided to come back. Lana, anything you'd like to say? Whatever you say will be picked up by the group. Oh no, there's no there's no um, Speed. set guideline mm -hmm. by how quickly but you should learn. The, the previous visits are, are, are <coughs> doing the second, doing the benefit, you know, it's like a now it's stretched. Uh, Good. Better, you know. Good. Uh, I'm not with my knees, currently down, almost put my hands to your toes. I noticed that, and that's that's what it's all about, which means you're learning faster, much much faster than you expect. Well, so I you're doing. I like to go slowly because I'm. No, you won't. No, you won't. As long as you're very careful, and that's for our viewers too. As long as you take care to tighten this middle part, the lower abdominal, upper abdominal muscles, and your low back, it, I like to call it the equator, but your epicenter of your body, you'll be safe. And I think you've been doing it safely or you wouldn't be back here. So, Lana has socks on and so did I, but I didn't have rubber dots under my socks. I took them off. She has rubber dots under her socks. You cannot see it, but it's there. If you do decide to wear socks on the mat, make sure you have those rubber dots. Gives you traction on the mat. It's very important to be safe. This program is not just about stretching. It's about stretching safely. Hi, Cedric. Now for the big moment. Oh, before the big moment, too, I'd like to acknowledge our director, Josiane Hurd, co-director and tech director, Atik Mirza. Thank you so much for being there for us. And uh, Richard Swanson and Rich and I think Corey Bryce. Three people have helped set up the studio today, so thanks so much to all of you for the wonderful setup. Body Music by Cesar De Para, opening track from Saptatandavam. The three ohms that you hear in the beginning are from a music track called Saptatandavam. Now for the big bump. Finally, Veronica Winch. Veronica is a family wellness practitioner, and she has been with us in several episodes mm -hmm. before. <coughs> and then she went off the radar for a while as well, but she's been really busy. Veronica, what have you been up to since you've been away? Um, I was here, I think, at the end of 2011, and since then um, I've been um, 
uh, coordinating some interesting things at the place where I work, which is a children's hospital. This in is the high season for you, right? Um, yeah, you know, a lot of people want to do some detoxing, some cleansing at the right. beginning of the year. You know, these first four months of the year is like a big push for most people. Um, it's a really active time of the year for my business. So, um, so yeah, some really great developments, but I'm always happy to come back. So oh, glad we love to having you time. back. Oh, I find you. you're so organized that that makes Aww. my job so much easier. Yes. We love it when our guests are so organized that I don't have to do any talking. So <laughs> I'm going to let you tell us what you're going to take us through today. What Wonderful. are you going to do um, Well, Benu, when um, we discussed me coming back and at this time of year, um, you know, spring is in full bloom and then next we're going to be having summer. So um, <coughs> you had asked for some summer foods that yes. would be supportive to health. So I came with some items that we could discuss real briefly here before we do our yoga. Um, and I just wanted to share uh, the benefits of these different foods. So cilantro, which is here, some people kind of confuse it with parsley. Right. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a herb. Um, it's also <laughs> called coriander. Yes. And um, it's an amazing <coughs> herb to integrate into your food. Um, it has these amazing powers. So one of the ones I'd like to mention is that it chelates heavy metals. Is chelate. Chelates means helps to remove from the body. Wow. So I things like mercury, which unfortunately we're getting just by breathing air that cars are driving in, right. or you know sometimes our fish that we eat has mercury in it. So something that can chelate, take out the mercury from our, bo our bodies, is a good thing to have. Oh, wow. So um, cilantro is is really special in that it can do that. Um, it's also an aid in digestion. Um, it's a perfect food to integrate into summer foods because right. it could be added to like a salsa. Um, it could be um, uh, uh, thrown on top of guacamole, which is a popular thing to eat right. in the summer. Um, it's anti-inflammatory, which is great for all of us, um, especially if you have arthritis or something like right. that. Um, <coughs> absolutely. Raw is the way I would recommend it. I think... Uh, I may never have had cilantro cooked. Right. Usually right. it's used as a garnish at the just, end. What we do is we just pinch it and sprinkle it. Yes. So you get the smell, the yeah. aroma yeah. when you pinch it. Yeah. And a lot of foods, it's better to have them in their raw form. Some are good both ways, cooked and right. raw. But cilantro is one of those. It's quite delicate. So I also put it in smoothies. Um, we've had green smoothies here before. You're, you're I, a smoothie expert. <laughs> I love, I do. I, I do do a lot of smoothies. I'm known as the smoothie lady uh, at my <coughs> job at the hospital. So cilantro is a great option for um, greens in your smoothie um, and it helps to lower blood sugar which I is an never issue. I thought you could use that in a smoothie. Oh yeah mm -hmm. and you use it with limes which I'm yeah. also going to talk about. Oh I need about. that. Is that going to help Oh you? yeah <laughs> definitely. So we can talk about lemons and limes. Um, vitamin C which is super important it's an antioxidant both lemons and limes have that and um, that is a nice mixture uh, limes especially with cilantro it's a really good marriage. Um, it protects against, you know, lemons and limes and vitamin C help protect against cancer. Um, they support liver function. Liver okay. is our second largest organ, and we really want to do things that support the liver's function because it, um, it works with so many other organs. Right. So if the right. liver is not doing its part, it kind of compromises <coughs> some other um, things that need to happen. Um, and for bug bites in the summer, that tends to be an issue. So lemons and limes on a bug bite can be very helpful. Uh, and because we need to stay hydrated in the summer, we're drinking right. a lot of water. Yeah. Adding uh, the fresh squeezed lemon or lime juice um, just kind of enhances the water, gives you some electrolytes, gives you vitamin C, and it can help us to stave off dehydration. Is it true if we take lime and honey, I can lose weight? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, so the <laughs> liver support, that. right? So if lemons and limes help the liver to function properly, that will aid oh, in weight, weight management loss. and weight, weight loss. Management. I like that term, so weight yeah. management. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, sometimes people say, oh, you look fine, you're thin, whatever. But, you know, we still have our own kind of weight that we like to right. maintain. Right when our clothes feel good on us. Um, another one is mango. This is another great one for the summer. And it's also loaded with great antioxidants. Um, it goes very well, actually, with cilantro, with the lemon and the lime. And it's got great sources of iron, which are, is great for women. You know, we tend to be deficient in iron or we're anemic. Um, it has vitamins E and C, oh, nice. which are also antioxidants. Is there sugar in mango? Well, there is, but it's actually not bad for people that have diabetes. 
diabetic, diabetes or are you know um, pre-diabetic. So um, I think that is a common conception that it's right. too sugary, but actually it has a lot of digest uh, dietary fiber, right. which takes the cholesterol out of the body, and then that helps to regulate sugar, sugar levels, levels as right. well. Okay. Um, it, it's a protector against cancer and heart disease, which you know is a nice I thing. I love too. mangoes. I'm sure Denden oh, loves it too. It's a summer fruit, right? right? I love mangoes. Florida. Like mangoes, great. On the way to church in Florida, you could just pick them up. <laughs> They're like everywhere. Oh, and if lovely. I knew that they were rich in iron, I would have, like, yeah. I, would, I love little tricks like this, like that are like healthy Natural things, because yeah. they, they make me feel like I'm, uh, you know, I'm not just eating pasta, I'm eating wheat pasta. So it makes me feel like, oh, I'm doing a good thing. Yes. So I can But which eat also it. tastes good. Or dark chocolate. Dark yes. Chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Love things like that. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to know that these foods are not just tasty, but have right. really great um, benefits. <laughs> what about the pepper there? Oh, so this is jalapeno. But um, any kind of spicy pepper or cayenne is also very supportive to um, blood flow. And it's also a great thing to have in the summer because we tend to get overheated. And when right. we have something that's hot and spicy, it helps us to sweat which will cool us down. Uh -huh. um, but there are so many uh, great uh, benefits for uh, capsaicin. Uh, I also use just regular cayenne red pepper and sprinkle that into um, various dishes that I cook at home. It stimulates blood flow. So like if you are feeling under the weather or you do have an inflamed joint, um, capsaicin or that hot spicy food will help right. get blood to those areas. Yeah, we use a lot of spice and I keep telling people it opens up your arteries, opens yes, up the sinus. Yes, it keeps blood flow. Flowing. Well, it's good for a cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, hey, until it'll start making your nose. I'm tempted to munch <laughs> into that right now. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure you heard. I have a question about the cilantro. Is it in the powdered form? Is it just as good as I, I mean, it's okay to use the powder form. I would say <laughs> use them both. Oh, she said pounded. Powder. No, powder? Powder? Powdered form. Yeah. Right, yeah, like the, uh, the right, like coriander, seeds. dried oh, right. coriander seeds. spice. Yeah, you can use them both. Um, they both have different benefits, but you know, if you can integrate some of the fresh, especially in the summer, you know, it's you easy get to it get fresh. it. And, right. Yeah. So, and it's it's easy to find. Most grocery stores have it. So, um, and then as far as the uh, hot spicy pepper, um, it also det supports detoxification. So again, if you're you know, trying to lose weight, um, you want to be uh, maintaining a good level of detoxification so that the liver can work better and everything right. goes um, better. It's great for metabolism. <laughs> um, I know that when I use this in a, like a bowl of chili, I do start to feel slimmer. So <laughs> helps to metabolism and uh, that helps with weight loss. And then finally, coconut water. Um, it's easy to find these days. They sell it pretty much anywhere any at this point. Um, right. I don't think it was as easy to find even five years ago. Um, but many cultures all over the world oh, have yeah. been drinking coconut water for a long, long time. In, in India, I didn't want to interrupt. I mean, it's so fascinating, especially coconut water. When someone falls ill and mm -hmm. they're recovering from an illness, you lose body moisture, right? Yes. Apparently, this has electrolytes It in does. It. Wow. Minerals. <laughs> That's and, good to know. Um, so water's <coughs> great, but if you're, you know, a lot of times we're very active in the um, in the summer. We're we're running around. We're swimming. We're at the beach for long hours, and we get high dehydrated. And right. coconut water is um, beneficial because it has those electrolytes. And there are those sports drinks that they claim you know have those electrolytes and are good for. Um, staving off dehydration, but they have a lot of sugar oh. and sodium. And so coconut um, water has sugar in it? Like it has Gatorade. coconut water has a, a natural oh, the sugar. The, well the, oh, right, the right, sports right. drinks. Right. Right. <laughs> right. So the um, there's all kinds of sports drinks out there that claim to replenish. So basically, but yeah, it offsets all the good it yeah, does. Exactly. I agree. So coconut water <coughs> is the way to go. Um, it's a rich source of B vitamins and essential minerals. Um, B, B, B vitamins are great for mood, for neurological support, um, and um, they, they help so many functions in the body, and a lot of us are deficient in various B vitamins. So That's wonderful. I can see you're saving up some of the info for tomorrow's episode. We're going to have our viewers come back, just so we don't give everything away today. Veronica has promised to come back tomorrow. Stay with us. Veronica's website is up there, www.holisticlivingnow.com. Her details are also there at the bottom left of the screen, VW 
at USA.net. Telephone number 212-774-1944. If you want to contact Veronica, feel free. Write to her. She's not only an amazing guest right here, but I think all her clients love her as well. Oh, thank you. And your smoothies are just out of this world. So coriander smoothie, I never thought about that in a smoothie. Coriander with your smoothies. Oh, that's what I like to show people, um, (coughs) different options. And if they go to my website, you will see two episodes there on um, On a couple of smoothie how-to videos and more to come. Write to Veronica and stay in touch with her. She will try and appear at least once every six weeks. That would be great. Yeah. And maybe a couple of episodes back to back, one after the other, so we can stay with the theme. So stay in touch with her, stay in touch with Veronica, and we will, you've promised to come back tomorrow. So we're going to yes. do a little bit of stretching after all that talk about high energy. I think we cannot hold it right. in. <laughs> Den Den, you are going to stretch with us now. I think you're so calmed down, she's almost yawning. So we're going to have to wake her up. <laughs> we're going to stand up. Lana, you're on your chair, so you may also want to stand up with us. <coughs> you're so relaxed. She's almost stretching like she would just get out of bed and do it. Actually, that's a perfect way to start any stretch. Mm. Let's <laughs> tiger ourselves. Lana, maybe you can come forward. I'll go back. We'll have Veronica come forward, and then then goes back. We always start a section of four episodes back-to-back with the sun salutation. So, Lana, feel free to make your adaptations, especially when we come with the knees down. And I'll talk you through it as much as we can. Heels together, toes apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. (coughs) Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms. (coughs) Six to eight inches. I need some of that uh, cayenne pepper mm-hmm. <laughs> in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. <coughs> Exhale, press your heels all the way down. Try to bring your heels to the floor if they don't touch today. That's okay. Dip your head between your biceps and hold it. Breathe through the abdomen. Inhale. And Lana, if you're comfortable staying here, Stay here if you can hold it. For the rest of us, inhale, bring your left foot between the hands. <coughs> Unless you want to try. You're okay staying there? That's okay. You can come down on your knees. That's it. Bring both the knees down. You're fine. <coughs> yeah, no, no. If you're there, stay there. Can you hold that for a while? Yes. Please. Okay. Now, left knee is up. Exhale. Dip your hip. And the way Veronica just did, bring your elbows out. That helps you stay in the moment. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left. And we're going to join Lana where she is in a moment. No, no, stay there with with both hands down. Place both palms, one palm over the other, left over the right. Turn to look at the raised elbow and hold. It is a little bit of a balanced posture, so you want to be careful. If you have your back toe curled in you want to keep it uncurled inhale let's come out of that both palms beside the left foot curl your toes in in the right raise your right knee take the left now you want to take the left to meet the right you want to take your left leg very good knees chest and chin to the floor exhale and dip lana you're okay where you that's oh beautiful very nice glide out into cobra Now, Lana is not all the way down on the floor, but where you are is fine for now. But she also is making the motion of gliding down, and then we're going to come up to join her. Those of us who are on the floor, inhale and bring bring yourself up a little bit. Now, press with the tops of your feet, engage your low back muscles, and Lana, this one's not for you. It's just for the three of us. Take your palms off of the floor. That's to test that we're using our low back, palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in, inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Let's come up, Lana. (coughs) Exhale, dip your heels, bring your heels all the way down, as far down as you can, dip your head between your biceps. Inhale, bring the right and then the left foot between the hands. And you can do it in stages, there's no rush. Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale, and release. Now, 
Some of us, I know I usually tend to bring my arms out all the way. That's fine too. When you bring your uh, palms down, the center, it helps us get to a meditative stage much faster. Nacha, how did you go? Did you go out all the way? No, I was consciously, oh right, that's good. <laughs> it's actually much better than going out all the way. But I tend to do that when, and like you said, because we were close, brought it down. But that's also giving us a workout because we get the shoulder blades go back. So palms together, let's not forget the other side. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the head. <coughs> Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the right leg back this time, and then the left. Exhale, press your heels down, dip your head between your biceps, and hold. Take one deep inhale and exhale through the belly. Inhale, this time bring the right foot between the hands. <coughs> and Lana, you can come halfway. Place your left knee on the floor, uncurl the toes in the left foot, and you can stay where you are, Lana. The rest of us are going to come off on our right knee, and then place both palms on your right knee, exhale, and dip your hip. <coughs> you may notice Veronica is using what we call the Ujjayi breath which is really great. It's an amazing breathing technique for detoxing. I think today I'm not really even going to try the Ujjayi breath because I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming out. So I'm going <coughs> right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right. Place the right palm on top of the left. Raise your right elbow. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Let's take one or two breaths right there. Inhale, let's come out of that. And now, Lana, you're going to join, we're going to join you, actually. Both palms beside the right foot. Curl your toes in in the left. Take your right to meet the left in plank position. Very nice. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Exhale and dip. Those of you who are stretching for the first time, make your adaptations the way Lana is doing. Glide out into Cobra. Let your body do the talking. You don't want to <clears throat> overdo any posture. Press with your palms, press with the tops of your feet. Inhale, lift yourself up. We're, when you're as high as you can go, engage your low back, take your palms off of the floor. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, bring the left foot and then the right between the hands. <coughs> Both palms together. Do it in stages, no worries. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. I understand we have a couple of minutes. If you guys are willing, shall we do one more super fast round? Are you okay for a fast round? All right, you're a good well, trooper. I don't know what a fast round is. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to sit it out, that's fine. Yeah, I, I, okay, keep up with us as much yes. as you can because you've already done a full round, so you're fine. Palms together, heels together, toes apart, elbows are raised. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels down, dip your head between your biceps and hold. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. <coughs> right knee on, is on the floor. This time you want, that's it, just stay right there. You can bring the right knee down if you want to. Both palms on the left knee, exhale and dip. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. We're gonna join you, Lana. Inhale, let's come out of that. Both palms beside the left foot, curl your toes in and the right, raise your right knee, take the left to meet the right, very good. <coughs> Knees, chest and chin to the floor. This is good, it's gonna get all my phlegm out. Exhale and dip. Glide out into Cobra. Again, Lana is going to make her adaptation. Press with the tops of your feet, press your palms. Inhale, let's come up, then engage your low back and take your palms off of the floor. <coughs> palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. 
Exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, right foot and then the left between the hands. <coughs> Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. We have side two of round two coming up and then we're going to wrap up. But before we do that, once more I'd like to acknowledge Fatima Mirza, our tech director, Josiane Hurd, our director, thank you so much for holding the fort. Our facilitators for today, Corey Bryce, Richard Swanson, and Rich. Thanks so much. Body music by Cesar Depara. Opening track from Sapatanga. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. <coughs> Both palms on the floor. Take your left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels down. Dip your head between your biceps and breathe through the lower abdomen. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Place the left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the left foot and ease off. Both palms on the right knee. Exhale and dip your hip. Right knee is up. Inhale, the left arm up. We're almost there. Exhale, but if you want to bring both knees down, dip your left elbow. Oh no, you don't need to put it down. If you can hold it that way or you want to bring right palm over the left inhale let's come out of that place both palms beside the right foot curl your toes in in the left take the right to meet the left in plank position <coughs> actually lana you're going to get stronger you held one particular posture much longer knees chest and chin to the floor exhale and dip inhale glide out into cobra press with the tops of your feet tops of your palms Engage your low back, take your palms off of the floor. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks up. Inhale, bring the right foot and then the left between the hands. <coughs> Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. We have about a minute and we're going to let Veronica do the closing. Let's all sit down. Lana, you're welcome to sit on the chair. You did great. You actually held, it, held some of the postures longer than we did. Veronica, we do have about a minute. Do you want to do a quick recap? Okay. And then we'll have you reintroduce these tomorrow. So, for <coughs> summer health, I recommend cilantro for its chelating abilities right. and its refreshing um, taste. Remind I'm, me again, what's chelating? Oh, uh, chelating is taking the metals out of the body. <coughs> like okay. mercury. Mango, which is great in salsa, great in a smoothie, great just peeled and eaten. Lemons and limes loaded with vitamin C, great to uh, support hydration when you squeeze some of the fresh juice in water. Jalapeno or capsaicin, anything spicy, hot pepper, helps to keep you cool because it helps you to sweat. And then it also is really great for metabolism. Capsaicin is an enzyme. Right. Capsaicin is um, it's a chemical in that makes the peppers hot. Oh wow! So can you cook them or put them in salad? Yes, absolutely. You could oh, cook wow. it. You could have it raw. This um, girl roasted. is tougher than we think. <laughs> and then coconut water is great for hydration. It has loads of uh, electrolytes, electrolytes right. and it's easy to find these days.